The future of design is coming and it is all about XR. Think of it this way. XR design is like e-commerce while traditional UX design is like old school brick and mortar stores. And again, nothing against brick and mortar stores, but this technological evolution is redefining how we interact with products and services, makes our life a lot easier and more comfortable basically, and it's also shaping how we work with other people. If you are a UX designer or you are a aspiring UX designer, now it's your chance. Don't miss out on this huge opportunity and here are five reasons why you should consider XR design over traditional UX. Reason number one, expanding job opportunities. AR and VR are technology that are here to stay. They have incredible real use cases in a lot of industries we will talk about later on as well. I mean, I have a freaking dedicated TED talk on how immersive technologies will shape our future. They are extremely versatile. You can use them anywhere in any field in a lot of ways. They are much more natural to using everything through a 2D window. I mean, we are three-dimensional creatures. Our world is in 3D, so using a 3D natural interface is definitely more uh, real to us than having a mouse and stuff like this. And they are extremely efficient and makes us more productive. One example, again, there are like hundreds of examples, but one example would be, I could actually have my complete studio or any room or our kitchen rebuilt in VR and I don't have to do it in real. So I can have holographic furniture in my room and have like different layouts and can switch them in like one second basically and I don't have to buy anything and that just helps me to really understand the feeling of the new room. So interior design again I love that use case a lot is one of one million ways how XR can be extremely efficient in helping us do things without yeah, physically <laughs> moving a couch to the eighth floor in my case and then be like I think it's too big or too small. So that is something where I really like using them. The market is of course also seeing and this market growth which leads to more demand in XR in general will also lead to more demand for XR designers. Because let me tell you from experience, most XR experiences so far suck pretty much in terms of user experience. Of course, many of these are still in research. There are some high polished, fleshed out games. There are also a couple of XR designers already, of course, but this is a demand that is just gonna be more and more and more. And that is your opportunity to kind of like the gap. As technology evolves, people learn new skills, other skills get outdated and get automated or replaced by AI. And this is a cycle that we have seen many, many times already in the history. I mean, who's using travel agencies for booking the flights, for example? Or are you still using um, physical DVDs to watch your movies <laughs> or any like these? But that reason is obvious to many already and there are even better reasons to switch to UX design for XR. Reason number two, creative challenges and innovation. Immersive experiences help you to create more immersive, interactive, engaging and emotional experiences and I think this is something pretty convincing for UX designers. XR designers have the opportunity to create cutting edge new experiences that shape and redefine how we interact with technology and the user experiences in general. There are no set of rules how something is supposed to be done unlike any website or any app or any other general experience that we have in 2D, for example. So this is a complete new field and you can really get creative in how a user opens a door or does any of these kind of things. And that is something I think that's also very exciting. So where can you use all of these new cutting edge skills? And this is where it leads to our third point. Reason number three, use cases everywhere. Immersive technologies have the possibility to revolutionize pretty much any industry. You can use it in education, healthcare, entertainment, interior design, manufacturing, sports and fitness, real estate, architecture, 
automotive, advertising, marketing, tourism, and so, so many more. I mean, I could really have an infinite list because there are so many new fields that are just being created because of XR. And I myself, I've worked in a lot of fields already, like education, healthcare, and uh, interior design. I don't want to create a new list, but this is also one of the reasons why I'm so freaking passionate about these technologies, because again, like using XR in healthcare is completely different, of course, than using it in interior design, but just creating this these links together and having that skill as a UX designer that is freaking powerful that is really 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 powerful and these are real helpful use cases unlike other technologies <coughs> crypto and nft designers play a crucial role in designing and um, creating these user experiences directly affecting people's lives because most xr experiences in most industries have so much room to improve there will most likely be a lot of demand for this new field and by the way speaking of i'm actually also looking for a ux designer for xr so an xr designer in the future so if you are interested in actually working with me then uh, i will just leave a survey in the uh, section below so you can check it out i mean that is already proof that there's demand right if you are still not convinced there's one reason that i think is uh, really powerful and should hammer down the overall message that I want to give. So let's move to reason number four, staying ahead of the competition. Our future, your future, depends on our ability to adapt to changes fast. Just see what is going on with AI already. I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. At least in contemporary terms, it is not. What if I were to tell you that I am not even a human being? It is honestly like really scary, like really, really fast also. And the future is definitely uncertain for all of us. Transitioning into XR design can help you to be more AI proof in quotes because it equips you with more future proof skills. Things like 3D creation, you can already use all of these prompts and all of these AI tools to really build environments and everything. And again, this is a field that is changing so fast. Like it is crazy. I'm 24 seven in this field and there's, there's like so much movement happening and that is why it is so freaking important to adapt and you can already build amazing 3d prototypes with tools like shapes xr which by the way is our partner in how we teach xr design so if you are interested in learning more about xr design definitely check out shapes xr because they are pretty much like figma for xr designers so figma is the standard for 2d design obviously and i personally i really like working with shapes xr we teach it to our students it's an amazing tool and um, yeah, I mean, one of our partners for no other reason, because it's a tool that really helps redefine how we can prototype in XR. And having these skills help you to actually help the world to move from 2D to 3D, which is something that, again, we see in so many industries already happening. And that, I believe at least, will make you more future-proof than many other skills. Because again, software development is being replaced, 2D design, of course, copywriting, pretty much every skill, even like maybe at some point these skills, but again, you kind of like have a small defense shield again, this one. The overall theme is really learn to adapt really, really fast because through AI, the world is moving so fast right now. Not to scare you, but having these skills is really helpful to fill the demand that is coming in the next few years. And that overall will make you more valuable in the job market, of course. The earlier you start, the more you can really build your personal brand and then become a noticeable person in that field, really. I'm pretty happy that I started in 2016. So I have like seven plus years of experience in that field already, which um, is really helpful when it comes to XR design and development. And my last and also favorite reason for switching into XR design is the opportunity to define new standards. Basically, you become a pioneer in a field that is just growing and is just evolving right now. Like there's no set rules, like I said in the beginning already. So it kind of feels like climbing a mountain for the very first time, like, I mean, the very first human to climb that mountain or like exploring a new world, which literally is what we are kind of doing also. You have different mindsets because you don't have to follow like a set of rules, like set of standards that are already established and fixed. And like, if you change it, it's kind of ugly. It is really like just experimenting a lot. And that means that things like creativity, which is something I'm very passionate about, gets rewarded like 100 times more than any other field. I mean, like what kind of creativity can you put into accounting except for having 
nice and numbers or something like this. There's not really much to change or like law or whatever else. Physics, I mean, that is different. Science is amazing. So not, let's not mock on physics. But being in a field that is very new and undefined gives it all of this magic that, hey, yeah, let's just try out this complete different new thing this complete new way of interaction maybe that is something that big companies will adapt to and then you have kind of like shaped that industry uh, that you can do and that is something that is again super 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 internally rewarding for me because i can just explore and do creative shit all the time so there you have it xr design is really shaping the field in many industries the world is moving from 2D to 3D, so by being adaptable, you also naturally will move from 2D to 3D, and that is something that I think can be very helpful for your career. So don't wait around uh, and just like sleep on it. Really take the opportunity right now. And if you are serious about actually becoming an XR designer, I have a lot of videos and I would highly recommend you to watch this one because there I talk about all the things you need to do and the biggest mistakes you don't want to avoid. So again, if you're serious, watch this one. And thank you so much for listening. I see you in the next one.